Olmstead, it's a good day. Why is it a good day, Alex? Well, I'll tell you why. Because when I was a kid, I had a boglin. It was a purple boglin. What's a boglin? A boglin is a cool, gross hand puppet toy designed by Tim Clark. <laughs> they were really big in the 80s. Uh, Toy Galaxy did an excellent video about the history of Boglins and Tim Clark's work that we'll link to in the description. And I loved my Boglin. Uh, I can't remember if it was named Schlump or Schlorp or Grump or... Glorp? Or Glorp, something like that. They all had really fun, gross-out names. Uh, my brother had one that was green, uh, and we loved our Boglins. They were so fun. We had the smaller kind uh, that were still, you could fit your whole hand into and move their mouth and you could put your fingers like that in their eyes and sort of move their eyes a little bit. Wow. Uh, they were solid eyes, but you could also grab their tail and sort of do a <laughs> and we loved doing that. It was so fun. <laughs> But the coveted item was the large Boglins. Mm. They were a little bit larger, it seemed, than the kind of Boglins we had. But the big thing was that they had movable eyes. They had some sort of eye mechanism in there. Smash cut to 2017. Bo Brown, who works at the Center for Puppetry Arts in Atlanta. Oh yeah, Bo Brown! Oh yeah. <laughs> Bo Brown brings us to Dragon Con in Atlanta to take part in the puppetry track. We did a show and a couple panels. It was so much fun. We love Bo Brown. And another of the special guests at the puppetry track was the not, one and only Tim, Tim Clark. Clark. Uh, it was so cool. We also brought some stuff to sell at the merch table. And we had a couple shifts where we sat next to Tim Clark selling merch. He was selling Boglins and Sectar stuff and uh, Dark Crystal merch and um, just generally being an awesome dude. Um, we got to talk to him for a long time. It was, it was, it sort of felt like it came full circle then because it was like he created these cool, weird puppets that I played with as a kid that then inspired me to make cool, weird puppets. And then I got to meet him again. But it's not just one full circle. But wait, there's more. Smash cut. To late October, early November, when Tim Clark and Chris Cofoni decide to kickstart a reboot of the Boglin series. It almost immediately meets their goal in like, the first couple days. Like that. Like that. that. Smash cut to me getting so excited about this Kickstarter. Uh, we back it on November 1st of 2020, and we're pleased to say that we got the box a couple days ago. I haven't opened it yet because I was saving it as a reward for finishing the rest of our projects. But here it is. Item number one, zero, 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 one. one. King Dwork. Carton number 148 of 1000. We've never done an unboxing video, but this is so important to us that we wanted to share with everybody. Smash cut to a better angle of the table. <sighs> oh, my box, it's bleeding. Ah. Olmstead, had you ever heard of Boglins before Dragon Con? I had. Where? Pop culture. <laughs> <laughs> toys, toys, try <gasps> action toys. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is like little baby Alex wish fulfillment coming true. Take a look at that. You, I can already see good King Dwork uh, arrest in his chambers. Oh my gosh. It's catching a little on some cardboard here. Extremely rare creature. Oh my god. Holy gosh. moly. It looks like there's 
a little bit of crushing on the box down there, but I don't care about that. King Dwork. Look at that beauty. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Outrageous creatures that come alive in your hands. One of the things that we always coveted about Boglins, the ones in the store, were that they came in this crate and you can uh, punch out a hole in the bottom to uh, to test. Um, and look at the, the, the bars that Boglin was trying to get out already. <laughs> wow. This is exactly how I remember the box looking. That is so cool. It looks like King Dwork has graffitied the inside of his box there with the words, humans look weird. Extremely rare creature. Do feed. Mm, mm. I guess we'll feed him. <laughs> Whoa. Some bogologist field notes. This may be the most significant discovery in history. From this swampy bog that time forgot. I shall name these creatures Boglins? <gasps> Observing their bizarre behavior, I theorize that Boglins may be the missing link to human personalities. Could it be that long ago Boglins taught us how to laugh and cry, even how to love? It seems that each of the Boglins has its own distinct personality. The Boglins I have studied pick up human habits quickly and display remarkable affection. However, they do get upset if not returned to the boxes I have built for them. Huh. <gasps> I hereby establish the science of Bogology. Bogology! May all future Bogologists learn from these notes and go on to discover new things about this most intelligent and fascinating species. Observing boglins in their natural habitat. Oh my gosh. The large boglin species, King Drool, King Dwar, King Vlob, and they of course, I guess had babies with each other <laughs> to create <laughs> this line. Who do you think the mommy is in that scenario? Mm. Probably King Probably. Blob. <laughs> <laughs> Large boglins glow in the dark. Eyes can move from side to side to see him. King Spunk. That's who I had. Or I guess uh, maybe not the king version. Maybe just Spunk. Wow. Wow. This is gorgeous. What a treat. Now, they also uh, sent information that the boglins' tail and then some other things are within this punch out spot. Uh, so I think we're gonna have to pop it out. I think we will. Oh my gosh, let's look there. Important, remove plastic fastener to open front gate. <gasps> <gasps> Place hand in the bottom of Boglin. Open and close mouth to make different expressions. Move lever above each eye, up and down to make wink. So it looks like maybe the eyes are independent of each other. Move lever up and down to make eyes move back and forth. Are there two levers? What? Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh no, it's King Clem. <laughs> hey. What's going on over here? Ah, uh, cat butt, huh? <laughs> okay, little baby, I'll open the window for you. Hey, come on, this is my show. <laughs> I remember in the commercial, there's a part where one of them pops over uh, a woman uh, eating popcorn, and it's like, it can even kiss your aunt. I forget the aunt's name. But then the ant looks over her shoulder and is like, oh, and drops her popcorn. <laughs> if you take us home, we'll kiss your aunt my back. <laughs> Classic. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Cut a long dotted line to be able to play with the boglin inside his crate. Well, I think I'm going to uh, cut this first. Actually, I'm going to get my, my flush cut things. Do you want to talk about boglins for a little bit? Sure. Boglins are beautiful. Boglins are brave. Boglins 
will sometimes live in a cave. Boglins are sweet and boglins are kind, but don't ever approach a boglin from behind. That was a beautiful poem, Olmstead. Thanks, Alex. Okay. We have to do this right. Oh my gosh. Let me dust off the surface. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so cool. Well, let's show. Okay, there we go. Now you always want to keep this closed when the boglin's inside and you're not playing with him so that he can't get out and eat something. Oh my gosh. Okay, it looks like there's a little bit of wire holding. Oh my gosh. Also because uh, we met our stretch goal in uh, the Kickstarter, it came with a pin, uh, a King Dwork pin, King Dwork himself. You get a pin with um, uh, the one that you backed. I have a feeling that's going to be going on a workshop apron. Post haste. <laughs> I think, okay, here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. I think we can open the sides to be able to get to, okay, here we go. Caution, this special box is your Boglin's home. Keep your Boglin happy. Take care of his home. Your Boglin will like that. Please proceed carefully. And then there are reassembly instructions. Yeah, because I think I don't want to pop the bottom out if I don't have to. Could you hold on to the box? Of course. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. Oh yes. That's uh, um, one of the map pieces. Uh, each of the t Kickstarter boxes comes with uh, a different section of map, I believe, for the bigger Boglin expanded universe. Looks like ours is from the Boglands, the kingdom of Dwork, land of Fergus. Do you want to read, read that? Having risen through the ranks of the Jokers, Dwork, who was found to have created some of the most notorious practical jokes in Bogland history, was finally made King of the Jokers. He deposed the old king with a whoopee cushion, and a banana peel, and a water balloon. He assumed the throne with his boisterous fart, <laughs> which was heard throughout the kingdom and was cheered by all his followers. Many women and children were overcome by the fumes and needed to be resuscitated. <laughs> he possesses the superciliest scepter of San Marcan. He won this at great personal cost at the infamous Battle of Bib. Whoa. Wow. So that's our map piece. There's like a little black plastic thingy and this thingy, and this, this thingy. thingy, and I believe this is the tail that you have to attach yourself oh. so that they can fit it in the box. Oh, look at that beauty. Now, have you ever seen such fine craftsmanship, Olmstead? I have never in my life seen anything made with such beauty and care. Mm. Factory new finish. Really great quality. Gorgeous. How did they do it? Okay, it looks like this is the instruction, illustrated instruction for how to attach the tail. So it looks like we take this thingy. Oh, that black plastic thingy was just from the other one of those. Mm. So that's not going to be important, in the assembly of it at least. Oh my 
my gosh. Look at that, that beautiful mechanism. <gasps> my childhood is complete. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let me, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. I want to play with it immediately. Okay, so it looks like, according to the drawing, this is in here, like that, and mm -hmm. then this goes uh, in the tail. Mm -hmm. There are a couple holes, or uh, a couple holes on either side of that big plug. It looks like this plug is symmetrical, so you can just pop it in. And then we'll make sure it's facing the right direction. I love a toy that you have to put together. Yeah, it's pretty great. Yeah. Do you want to put on the final cap instead? Surely. Oh my gosh. Ah! And it has a satisfying snap. Look at that wobble too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Hey. I think I'm gonna like it here. <laughs> Where were the instructions? Oh, it's on the bottom here. Okay. So, of course, we have open and close mouth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Olmstead. Hi, dwarf. Hey, that's king dwarf to you. All oh, right, I keep forgetting you're yeah. a king now. <laughs> and then his eyes match yours. Oh yeah. Hey, handsome. Hi. I was talking to the cat's butt. Oh, king dwarf. <laughs> No, King Dwork, very naughty. <laughs> mm, nope. Oh, I learned my lesson. I'll never do that again. <laughs> so I'm gonna see if I can show you a better close up of that mechanism. So if you can see that, each eye uh, is has a, a vertical pivot through it so it can look left and right. But it has sort of a 45 degree channel cut in it that then this middle piece that rocks up and down, that piece that rocks up and down has a pin that goes into the channel so that when you rock it up, it's riding along that channel, moving it back and forth. Really fun idea. So that way you're not moving your middle finger left and right in an awkward way you can move it up and down. It's more ergonomic. That's right. And then it looks like there's a separate lever here where there's another... Okay, let's move that. Oh, thank you. It looks like there's uh, another eyelid you can see in between this uh, frame housing for the eye and the eye itself. There's also a lid that then can uh, rotate up and down from that. Then you can see in there, that little white little bit, that's from where the lid is uh, attached to the, to the Boglin. Ah. You get a little subtle movement out of that. I think really the money is that left-right movement. <laughs> yeah. You want to try Olmstead? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> the material on it feels so good, too. It's nice and squishy, but durable. Hey, what do you call it? 
Meow, meow. King Dwork, you can't talk to our cat like that. Uh. Well, King Dwork, we're happy to have you in our home. <laughs> King Dwork, you better be a good little boglin. <laughs> oh no, King Dwork, you give that me that finger right back this second. <laughs> Thank you, King Dwork. Ow! Tail slam! I gotta put you back in your crate. Oh, I gotta reassemble the crate first. Okay, buddy. King Dork, it's time for you to go home. No. Yes, you have to go home. No. King Dwork, spit it out. Mm -hmm. I got boggling saliva all over me. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay, we'll put you back in your crate, and that's where you're gonna live. No, my tail! <laughs> well, you should have thought about that before you bit my finger so hard. I'm sorry, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Childhood dream fulfilled. Thank you so much, uh, Tim and Chris, for making this happen.